Have you ever wondered how the smell of a flower reaches your nose? Or perhaps, how a whiff of perfume spreads throughout a room? The answer lies in a simple yet fascinating process, known as diffusion. Imagine this scenario. A bottle of perfume is opened in one corner of a room. After a few moments, the fragrance begins to fill the air, reaching even the farthest corners of the room. This is diffusion in action. Diffusion is the process by which particles move from an area of high concentration to an area of lower concentration. In the perfume scenario, the perfume particles move from the bottle, where they are highly concentrated, to the rest of the room, where there is a lower concentration. This process continues until the perfume particles are uniformly distributed in the room. But diffusion isn't just about spreading pleasant smells. It's a vital process in the life of all organisms, plants, animals, and even single-celled creatures. In the case of plants, for example, carbon dioxide from the atmosphere diffuses into leaf cells for photosynthesis, while oxygen produced during photosynthesis diffuses out of the leaf cells into the atmosphere. For animals, particularly mammals, oxygen diffuses from the lungs into the bloodstream, where it's transported to cells for respiration. Carbon dioxide, a waste product of respiration, moves from the cells into the bloodstream by diffusion. It's then transported to the lungs, where it diffuses into the alveoli and is exhaled. Diffusion also plays a key role in the absorption of digested food. In multicellular animals like humans, digested food materials are absorbed from the small intestine into the bloodstream through diffusion. Single-celled organisms such as amoebas rely on diffusion to remove waste materials, which move from the cell to the surrounding environment. And diffusion isn't only important to the survival of individual organisms, it also plays a critical role in the broader ecosystem. Consider the lion or cheetah, predators that rely on diffusion to locate their prey. The smell from the prey reaches these predators by diffusion. Similarly, prey animals detect the presence of predators through smell, which also reaches them by diffusion. Even in our human world, diffusion has its applications. Sniffer dogs, for instance, detect illegal drugs by smelling them. The smell of these substances reaches the dogs by diffusion, and let's not forget about pollination in plants. Insect pollinators, like bees, are attracted to flowers by the scent produced by the flowers. This scent reaches the pollinators through, you guessed it, diffusion. To summarize, diffusion is the process by which particles move from a region of high concentration to a region of low concentration. This process is fundamental to life, enabling essential functions in plants and animals, from gaseous exchange and the absorption of food to the removal of waste products. Beyond individual organisms, diffusion also plays a key role in ecosystems and human activities. Whether it's a predator hunting its prey, a bee finding a flower, or a sniffer dog detecting illegal substances, diffusion is at work, quietly and relentlessly shaping the world around us.